It is inarguably one of the best movies ever. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Rudy, but it is uh, a story about a, an underdog kid who tried to make the Notre Dame football team in the 1970s. Again, inarguably the best movie ever. There is a, a highly emotional scene where the father, his father, he gets to play for the first time after several years of struggle. His father comes to the game. His father doubted him, but he finally gets to go to the game where the kid plays. And he walks out into the stadium and he looks out and he said, this is the finest sight these eyes have ever seen. And it's highly emotional. At least it is for me. I'm sure there are some who are Penn State fans who would go to the Penn State Stadium and say, this is the finest sight my eyes have ever seen. They'd be wrong, but uh, not in the case of Notre Dame. I'm just joking, of course. But if we get that emotional over a football stadium or maybe a beautiful garden, or maybe a place you go to the mountains and, or the shore. Can you imagine what would happen or what will happen, God willing, when we are granted the vision of the kingdom of heaven, the first time our eyes set sight in that kingdom? Think. I can't even imagine the beauty that is in store. But brothers and sisters, we have a sight of that beauty, just as the apostles did when they looked and heard the kingdom speaking to them in the person of Jesus Christ. We have a sight of that this morning as we hear the word of the kingdom granted to us. There's dozens of us here in this church watching. But we're a select few, not because God chose just a few, but because we have heard and desired to hear his word, his call. So we are granted this listening capacity to hear the kingdom and then to see the kingdom and then to receive the kingdom this morning. How can this not be the finest sight our eyes have seen? Preparing us for that truly fine sight, the finest, that will attack all of our senses in the most beautiful way, the kingdom of heaven. It has been granted to us, brothers and sisters. Let us not waste it. Let us not waste it throughout this day but absorb the goodness that we are given here at this Mass and live the kingdom so that we may one day truly live the kingdom. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Please stand.